Greetings, all. Today, we will be examining the relatively uncommon bug grass-type Pokemon Paris and its uncommon evolution, Parasect, both of which are known as the Mushroom Pokemon. In their base evolutionary state, Paris are the nymph form of a type of cicada that has never actually been observed in its true adult form. As a nymph, these creatures possess fairly frail, segmented bodies with an orange coloration that is designed to ward off predators as a warning, as the creatures do not taste very good as a result of a bitter-tasting compound contained in their exoskeleton. Their large front claws are used as their primary means of direct interaction with others and are capable of delivering nasty scratch, fury cutter, and slash attacks as they grow older, eventually even granting them access to the x scissor attack, though this is about the limit of their physical offensive power. They are assisted in this, however, by the presence of a pair of parasitic mushrooms that grow on their backs from birth, created as a result of their parents dousing newborn parish with the spores of the fungus. The resultant mushrooms require dark, damp conditions in order to grow correctly, which may explain why the mushrooms of Paris in the Alola region rarely develop properly, and end up weaker due to the intense sunlight and heat that often bathes all but the darkest of places in the region. Both they and their evolved form can possess the effect spore and dry skin abilities as base abilities as a result of their need for moisture to satiate the biological needs of the mushrooms that grow on their backs, though they can also rarely possess the damp ability as their hidden ability as a further consequence of their preference for damp environments. The parasitic mushrooms that are part of Paris, called Tachukaso, do not offer their host much in the way of true help, as while they do allow Paris to utilize attacks like Absorb and Giga Drain, the fact that the mushrooms themselves are the entities responsible for the attacks means that this does little to help the low base special attack stat of these creatures, forcing Paris to instead rely on the status inflicting moves that the mushrooms can offer as their primary means of incapacitating others, including the rare spore technique that is guaranteed to put opponents to sleep under normal circumstances. As true parasites, though, these mushrooms do more harm than good to these creatures, as the hyphae can easily penetrate the soft exoskeleton of Paris and integrate themselves with their host's nervous system, granting them limited control over said host. In their current state, they cannot completely control their host's motions, but they can influence their behavior, directing them to seek out high-nutrient foodstuffs like the internal juices held in tree roots, which Paris suck on with their small mandibles and ingest as their primary means of sustenance. Unfortunately, most of the nutrition is directed into the mushroom bodies to help them thrive and grow. As a result, the typical life of these creatures is not a pleasant one, as they must stick to cool, damp areas with plenty of shade where the mushrooms are safe from environmental damage. While Paris can be found in many parts of the world, it is noted that in many Asian countries their populations have been endangered on multiple occasions as a result of the medicinal qualities of their Tachukasu mushrooms, which can create potent elixirs and other forms of medication when properly dried and ground into a powder. On the one hand, this does nothing to harm Paris themselves, and they are perfectly fine without the mushrooms, but over time these fungi have grown so biologically attached to this particular host that they will suddenly force them away from potential hunters in order to preserve themselves. Now, this doesn't seem to be a case of the mushrooms developing a measurable degree of self-awareness as much as it is biological instinct, but they have developed a body form specialized for feeding on and manipulating Paris and Paris alone, hence their strong association with one another. Moreover, the two have become so inseparable from a biological standpoint that the mushrooms have become the primary cause behind permanent alterations to the bodies of Paris that prevent them from ever reaching their true adult form. As a result, it is unsure today what the original fully developed form may have looked like before the introduction of these mushrooms to their biology. This does not seem to impede Paris all that much, but for those who are looking for them to at least be able to evolve, it means only taking one of these mushrooms at a time is acceptable as the loss of both makes regeneration difficult and may prevent Paris from ever evolving again if the mushrooms are not reattached to the host before they wither and die. While the evolution of Pokémon generally denotes the development of the Pokémon's body into a new form, in the case of Paris, it is not their own development that triggers evolution, but the mushrooms that are attached to them. Once these mushrooms grow to a certain size, a developmental trigger in them is activated that causes one of the mushrooms to directly connect its hyphae to its companion, rapidly draining it of its nutrients and killing it, while at the same time draining nutrients from Paris at an accelerated rate. This causes this primary mushroom to grow immensely in size, to the point where it covers most of the host, extending its hyphae throughout the entirety of the body of the host Paris and forcing their brains to produce growth hormones at a cataclysmic rate. 
The result is a complete neoteny of the host body, with parrots growing considerably in size into a pseudo-adult form while retaining all their nymph form characteristics. The massive drain of nutrients, combined with a complete takeover of the host's nervous system, effectively kills most of the host parrot's brain and transforms the nymph into a zombie, the mushroom becoming the director of all its actions and mannerisms. Together, these merged entities become the Pokémon known as Parasect, a horrific insect-fungus hybrid with radically altered physical attributes and a near-complete absence of self-awareness. Parasects are completely mindless for the most part, as indicated by the seemingly glazed-over expression in their eyes, and are at the beck and call of the massive host mushroom that dwarfs the rest of their form, with only the most basic of predatory and aggressive instincts retained. While in this state, these creatures do receive a boost to all of their base stats, but due to the mushroom literally choking the life out of them, it is a weak boost as a whole, and most of their base stats fall below average for both grass and bug type Pokemon, their base attack stat only being slightly higher than average for a fully evolved Pokemon of both of their assigned types. Because the parasitic mushroom has essentially become one with its host in this state, it does allow the host insect to channel internal toxins produced in their bodies by the mushroom into their outer bodies and thus grants them the ability to naturally learn the cross-poison attack. Unfortunately, this is the only natural advantage they gain from evolution in terms of move variety. In this state, Parasect almost exclusively stick to damp, shade environments where the mushrooms can thrive, oftentimes feeding on tree roots so severely that they will have to regularly move between feeding grounds, as their repeated meals eventually kill the trees they are feeding on. It is unwise to approach them in the wild, as the mushroom meddling with the host Paris' mind can manipulate what little grey matter is still functional to produce adrenaline at an accelerated rate, forcing their host's aggression into overdrive to viciously fight off anything that could potentially prove to be a threat to the mushroom's existence. While its overall move variety does not increase substantially, the mushroom body of Parasite can produce more spores of a greater toxicity than it could before its period of accelerated growth, oftentimes being potent enough to induce death or at least rendered other life forms comatose for extensive periods of time, during which the controlled Paris can feast on the vital fluids of the prey for nutrition. Unfortunately, even less of this acquired nutrition goes into the host body than before, but it isn't really needed since most of the internal organ systems of the creatures die during the evolutionary process, the host body retaining just enough to keep its digestive and nervous systems and muscles operational. Although the mushroom is able to effectively control its host to attack, it is not completely safe from danger, as while it can usually deter other Pokémon from attacking it, it is still often targeted by humans for its incredible medicinal qualities. The spores of the mushroom alone are incredibly viable, as they are often steeped and boiled down to make some of the most potent herbal medicine in the entire world in places like China and Japan. Sadly for Parasect, the potent power of their mushroom does little to help them in battle, as the complete halting of natural development in the host body renders Parasect one of the weakest of fully evolved Pokémon, though they can still be a severe hazard to individuals that get into the range within which the mushroom can utilize the host's otherwise non-functional respiratory system to directly spread its spores. While they might not be among the most powerful of Pokémon when it comes to combat, Paris and Parasect especially can be problematic to deal with because of their toxic spores and access to potent status-inflicting moves. Controlling them can certainly be a hassle once their parasitic associate wrestles their body under its will and destroys what little mind they may have, but as long as their specific environmental needs are attended to, they can certainly pull a deadly surprise on others that dare to underestimate their toxicity. Just do yourself a favor and try to resist the urge to grind up or snack on their mushrooms if you are feeling ill. Paris might not mind it so much, but attempting such an action on their evolved form may result in little more than a face full of spores, potentially rendering you the snack instead for the controlling mushroom and its zombified host.